Seems to be working relatively quietly. Greetings friends, not the ideal day to have to sort out the winch, but it needs raising off the ground because it basically seems to have got full of uh, freezing mud and bits of crap, so it, it's proper stuck there at the minute. We've got some aluminium here, let's just measure it, see how cold it's then it is. Oh, zero. Feels cold in that. Anyway, bucket of hot water is. I've got to try and let all the stress off the winch. Don't try this at home. Right, that is the new tail, Lord Floppy, removed, and it will be replaced with this unit, oh, which is very heavy. And I actually extended it, this is off a Chinese wind turbine, so that the original tail went here, and then that was the end of the boom, but I extended it uh, with some pipes, with some tubing and a bit of extra things, so that's got to go back in, it's a lot heavier than that, but that just wasn't good enough, so cheers. So, very pleased to say that's the tail put on properly, the old tail boom i've got some spray paint and some iso alcohol uh, so i've been using the alcohol and sandpaper to clean any surface rust off and give everything i can a bit of a coat of paint uh, that's the stuff i'm using i don't have there's about a third of a tin left and i can't afford to buy any more at the moment so i did want to mention that i don't have a grease gun bizarrely so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove those nozzles nipples whatever they're called and i'm going to spray some of that in there because I believe that's better than nothing. It's probably not as good as doing it the proper way, but we'll give it a go. I'm not sure if we'll see any. Uh, if we do, it should appear on the outer ring here. Oops. Now the turbine has to be flipped over so that I can paint the other side. There you go, now the idea is I can spray the other bits. I'm going to leave this paint an hour to dry a bit more. All the wiring looks good. It's all been redone. Cable tied together under there. Plenty of insulation. So yeah, it should be good to go.